Hi folks, um, this is just going to be a very quick update about my Hornby Class A4 Mallard which uh, if you watch my video on me uh, getting this off eBay and uh, repairing it um, it has, as you can see, what you might call an, an interesting livery uh, with its weird red front buffers and its cornrods um, I have a bit of a confession to make that when I saw this on eBay um, I did realise it was a bit of a custom paint job I think it's one of the reasons it was going cheap not just because it, it was a non-runner, also a you know, dodgy paint um, but I edited out all reference to that in my video because I kind of just thought it would be a bit more fun just to stay silent on it and see what see what everybody thought. Um, but I actually ended up quite liking it in a sort of weird way. I liked it being a little bit unique. Anyway, I thought it was about time to revert it back to how it should be. So, here she is. All the red paint gone. Um, this was a bit of a painstaking job to do. Uh, I used meths, teacup and cotton buds to clean the, the paint off the corn rods and uh, the rear bogey, I don't know if you remember, but there was some paint on the rear bogey. Um, but the frontage was, was another matter altogether um, because the red paint was painted over the existing black paint. Um, that's not black plastic, the plastic's green. Uh, the black at the front there is actually painted over the green. So to remove the red paint with any kind of solvent, I was going to end up taking the black paint off as well. And I really didn't want to do that. Um, so I ended up very meticulously scraping away the, the red paint with a scalpel. And uh, gave it a bit of a, a touch up because there was a little bit of damage. And I think that's why it had been painted over. There was a little bit of damage to the black paint at the front. And uh, so I touched that up with black matte paint and gave it a bit of a buff. And uh, there we go, but it did take a bit of time to do. But I think you'll agree, that's looking an awful lot better. Okay, let's see it running now and uh, we'll catch you later.